Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Newman. I'd like to welcome you back today. Remember, we believe that when you change your health, you'll change your life. And our goal for you is to add years to your life and life to your years. I want to invite you back tomorrow when we continue talking about hypothyroidism. We've had a lot of requests to talk about the thyroid, so we are going to tell you the nine best diet tips for Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Before we get there, we need to get some basics out of the way. So let's talk about the thyroid gland first of all. We said that the thyroid gland is the master gland of all things metabolic in the body. In other words, it's responsible for growth, repair, metabolism. Every function of the human body is tied to what goes on with the thyroid gland. Now, let's keep it simple. This is what happens with the thyroid gland. There's a signal from the brain out to the thyroid, thyroid stimulating hormone. It tells it to increase or decrease its output depending on what your metabolic needs are. So the thyroid gland then primarily makes a hormone and we're gonna abbreviate it and call it T4. Four represents how many iodines are on that molecule. That's a rather inactive hormone. We call it a pro-hormone. In the body, one of those iodines is removed. It becomes T3, which is the active, powerful hormone. Now, we've got a hormone that can do some work for us. When we have adequate amounts of T3 in the body, there's another signal that's sent to the brain that says we can slow down that stimulating hormone. So that's the cycle it runs, TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, we release T4, which is the inactive hormone in the body. One of those iodines is removed, it becomes T3. And then it's called a negative feedback loop as far as what happens there. So if we want to test for that, there's multiple things we need to look at. We need to look at that thyroid stimulating hormone. We need to look at your T4 level. We need to look at your T3 level. Now we've got that whole cycle. Those are very easy blood tests that your doctor can do to determine how your thyroid is or isn't functioning. And shortly, we're gonna talk about all the different symptoms that you will experience or could possibly experience if your thyroid is not working correctly. So remember, if you've got any metabolic dysfunction in your body, slow down in your metabolism, how you feel your energy, your thinking process, your muscle tone, uh, your menstrual cycles, your bowel function, all of those can be tied to thyroid dysfunction or what we generally refer to as hypothyroidism. Take a look at the blog post on our website where we go into much more detail about hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Also, remember to like us on Facebook subscribe to our YouTube channel, and leave us any questions or comments that you have about your own personal struggles with hypothyroidism. I want to invite you back tomorrow when we continue talking about hypothyroidism. This is Dr. Newman. Thanks again for watching.